welcome back to my channel, At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, I'm going to be making beef with gravy for dinner, and I clean up this old mobile home that we're renting. So if you're interested, I hope you can stick around and enjoy the video. How are y'all doing today? I sure hope you're all having a great day. It's Sunday when I filmed this video, and Tim and I spent most of the day at Lowe's picking up materials for a vacant trailer that he's working on. We got back just in time to get dinner started. We're having beef with gravy over white rice and green beans. I was going to make a brown gravy, but I couldn't find my beef bouillon, and I didn't have any beef broth, so I'm going to make a delicious savory gravy instead using cream of mushroom and cream of celery soup. I got started by seasoning the beef stew meat with salt and pepper, and I diced up one onion. I then sauteed the beef in olive oil just until brown on all sides. Once the meat was brown, I placed the meat in a separate bowl so that I could get started on the roux for the gravy. Once the meat was finished browning, I removed the meat from the pan and got started making the gravy. I opened one can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of cream of celery soup and I added four cups of water. I stirred to combine and set it aside. I then melted four tablespoons of butter and added the diced onion and cooked just till the onions were soft. I then added about one tablespoon of minced garlic and sauteed that for about one minute, stirring constantly so that the garlic didn't burn. I then added about 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour to the onion and garlic butter, again stirring constantly, allowing for the flour to darken slightly in color. Once the flour looked ready, I poured the soup and water mixture into the pan and whisked constantly to avoid lumps. Once the gravy started to thicken, I added some Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, onion powder, some rosemary and thyme, and black pepper. Once that was all incorporated, I added the meat back to the pan. I lowered the heat to simmer and covered with a lid. I cooked the beef and gravy over low heat for about one and a half hours till the meat was nice and tender. To avoid tough stew meat, make sure not to let it boil. I've learned this the hard way one too many times. Low and slow is the way to go for tender stew meat.
So the beef and gravy is set to low and it's going to simmer for about one and a half hours. So it looks like I have some time to clean up my mess and wash a few dishes and then I'll get the rice started in the rice maker. and get the rice started. I ran out of rice from the pantry so I needed to open the bulk bag of rice. It was way too big and heavy for me and I'm too short to get the bag up high enough to pour into the container. Tim saw me struggling and came to the rescue. Can y'all believe I actually found enough containers to fit 25 pounds of rice? Well anyway, I really do like this rice maker. It's made by Aroma and it has a white rice option, a brown rice option and you can steam and slow cook in it. I made the rice way too soon but the rice maker kept the rice nice and warm and it didn't even get mushy and it's really easy to use. <laughs> The rice is ready, the table is set, and just like that, dinner is ready, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and get this beef with gravy served up and go enjoy a nice dinner with the family. Dinner was delicious y'all, but now it's time to feed Willow and Max. They've been patiently waiting for something to fall to the ground, but no luck tonight.
feeding the pups, then I'm going to be washing the dishes and cleaning up the kitchen. I need to sweep, mop, and clean off the stove. And then I'll be moving into the living room to get it put back in order. to sweep and mop. I'll be using Lysol and a microfiber mop pad that I bought at Dollar Tree. It's my favorite mop pad. I used to buy the mop handles at the Dollar Tree also, but they kept breaking, so now I just use a wooden paint stick. I don't usually do such a deep clean in the kitchen after dinner, but I've been busy helping Tim around the mobile home park, and I haven't done a good cleaning in here in over a week, and it needed it bad tonight. And once I started, I just had to finish. And I figured if I'm going to clean the kitchen, I might as well go ahead and clean the living room too. come to enjoy a clean kitchen before going to bed. It doesn't always happen that way, but when it does, it's a good feeling. So now let's move into the living room. It's a mess, y'all, but it shouldn't take long to pull it together. I'm going to dust, sweep, mop, and vacuum, and just straighten everything up.
So the first thing I did was clear off the hope chest. I removed everything that didn't belong and I found a home for it and then I was ready to start dusting. While I was straightening up the pillows and blankets on the couch, I found some matching quilted shams I had forgotten about, so I thought I'd see how they looked on the couch. So I'm just going to pick up the doggy toys, the shoes, some tools, and stack up the bar stools, and then I'll be ready to start sweeping and mopping. I just need to mop and vacuum and then I'm going to call it a night. It's late and I'm exhausted, but it's going to feel so good waking up to a clean house in the morning.
nice and clean. Well, y'all, I guess that about wraps it up for another video. I sure hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to go sit down and get some willowberry cuddles and call it a night. All right, y'all. I hope to see you in my next video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.